Five bells in the honey house, just getting things running. Well, it's eight o'clock now and I need breakfast. I'm gonna fall over. So I think I have the uncapper ready to go. I'm gonna put a new knife in because we had a, uh, a jam and it bent the old one and it wasn't cutting properly. So we got through last year, but a new knife in, new hoses, the heater works, new chain, new bearings, cleaned up. This always gets real messy in here. A little bit of paint, new belts. Simplicity at its best. This is a new motor from last year and it works, so I'm going to use it. So the uncapper is good to go. Done a few things on the extractor and now I'm working on the spinner. Specifically this damn knife. Ah. <sighs> You know, I love, I have a love-hate relationship with this piece of equipment. It just does an absolutely spectacular job. And it does it in such a simple way. It's a centrifuge, spinning drum. You know, the densities uh, manage itself. When this machine is running, it is left in the corner and nobody thinks about it. It just works all day. But the simplicity of this unit, I think causes some grief, specifically this knife. So this knife spins and spins and spins all day and we set our depth with this little crank. And as the honey wax mixture comes in, and starts falling down the side of the spinning drum. It gets stuck to the side of the spinning drum and the densities separate the honey from the wax. So the honey accumulates a nice honey layer within and then follows through a baffle at the bottom. So the honey kind of goes down the drum as it's separating the wax out. The wax actually floats inside this drum and then when the honey gets down to the bottom in a specific layer, it channels itself through some ports and it throws it up against the side here and down and then pumped into the tank. That wax layer, as it accumulates larger and larger, these knives spin all day and just kind of very slowly shaving a little bits of wax off and drops the wax down to make a mess on the floor. I built a pan to collect the wax. I mean, whatever. It's a very messy machine. So the wax finds its way out of this little area, drops down, and then I shovel that wax into my melter. So, uh, where I have problems is with these bearings. Not the top one, the top one never gives me any problem. It's always the bottom bearing and you can see why because everything falls down. So that bearing is in constant contact of gunk. And that bottom bearing fails. Like I, I'll put a bearing in and it'll last a year. I could probably get two or three but it gets noisy so I replace the bearing because it starts to get dry. So that's what the new bearing looks like there. It's in. And the problem I have is when I need to replace this bearing is I have one heck of a time pulling this bearing down this shaft well, for obvious reasons. And it's almost impossible to get into here. Wish they would have made a plate to be able to remove this so you could take it to a proper press to press the shaft of the bearing uh, when time for maintenance. But so just like any other farmer, I use a, a hammer. I got stopped doing that. 
I'm gonna find a different way. Maybe get a jack press in here to press it up. But at any rate, that's the flaw of this machine, or maybe it's just the flaw of myself. And because of that, so I just put a new knife in because I was running into the very problem of trying to get the bearing. This is the old knife. Trying to get the bearing down the shaft, of course, I'm hammering, hammering, and, and then things burr, or bearings go and it scars the shaft. So I take a file to it, which is the wrong thing to do. And sometimes it takes some emery cloth to it, which is the wrong thing to do. And it just wears down the, you know, diameter of the shaft. Well, there was a little bit of chatter, and finally the chatter turned into wear. So we finished out the year last year by running the bearing lower because of this. So this is my love-hate relationship with that damn machine. And you can see here too, you know, being a farmer, I forget to undo the, the, the uh, set screw, scars the shaft, then you're completely fucked. So this will be going into my Hall of Fame. As I put to work the new knife. I think half my trouble is I over tighten the belts. It doesn't need to be super tight. So it's just a matter of balancing the bike belt tightness underneath, which is another awkwardness because we have off the motor over here there comes to this central hub, which then runs the drum and the knife all at the same time, which is fine, but you need the drum tightness and then the, the knife tightness. So you're balancing out the tightnesses between the two by adjusting the, the spindle. And then you tighten up the motor after. At any rate, just my morning complaint. I'm gonna go up to the house and drink a bit of coffee. It is Saturday morning. I drink a bit of coffee and maybe have some toast. And then fix a leak on the easy loader.